Hello there, this is a Roliflex 2.8 E2 and although it's a very similar design to say the Roliflex T and the Roli Cord and even other twin lens reflex cameras like the uh, Yashica Mat 124G, the way you load the film into the Roliflex is very different to all of the other cameras I've just mentioned. So if you just picked one of these up or if you're thinking of buying one, today I'm going to show you how to load film into the Roliflex. But before I show you how it's done, really the main thing you need to know is that the difference between the Roliflex and all the other cameras is that there is this extra bar here and the key point is that the film has to go under this bar and then over the other two okay that's the, the only thing you need to remember really okay so now let's have a look at how it's done so the roller flexes are slightly different in the way you load the film compared to another twin lens reflex like a Yashica uh, Yashica Mat 124G so let me just show you if you open up the back like this so you just flick that across and then just pull it up what you'll see is this is the take up spool and this is where you put the film. So you just grab a piece of film and put it in. And the very, very important thing to remember is the film needs to go under this bar here. Okay, this is really, really important. So most other twin lens reflex cameras, they don't have uh, that bar there. And the reason is that the Roliflex has a system where it senses where the film is beginning. So right now it's just backing paper and then once you get film and backing paper together it senses, senses that the thickness is thicker than just the, the backing paper itself and it knows that the film is about to begin. So what you do is you go under that bar and then everything else is just over. So you just feed that back into the spool, uh, the take-up spool, like that. Uh, and then you just sort of help to begin with and then with a regular twin lens reflex, you have to wait until you see the arrows line up and then you can you know that you're ready. But with the Roliflex, because of this sort of sensor, this sort of mechanical sensor here, you don't need to do that. You can just close it once you know that the take-up spool is, is, is ready. Click it close like that, make sure it's closed properly. And then all you do is you just keep winding and it'll, it'll automatically sense when the film begins. So. You can see that it stops there at number one and just put away the crank and then you are ready to take your first photo. Okay, so that there you have it, as simple as that. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the differences between the Roliflex and the other Roliflex cameras like the Roliflex T and the Rolicord, please do take a look at my other video where I break down the key differences between the three different ranges and you can see that video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.